Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Dungeon of the Endless. Today we're starting the final run of the series uh, with the Sanitary Pod, which I think is kind of a funny name for it because I'm expecting this to be a huge mess. Uh, so we are in hard mode here. We cannot pause the game. I think of all the things on this list, cannot pause the game is probably the one that's going to cause me the most trouble because I'm sure you've noticed over the last few runs I've become very reliant on the ability to pause. Uh, we have stronger monsters, more unfavorable events, Fewer resources, heroes, and module slots. Healing is more expensive, and monsters react when you research new modules. Uh, I have no idea what this means. We're going to just go ahead and take random heroes. We need to keep trusting the game. It's been so nice to us so far. So yeah, monsters react when you research new modules could mean um, that maybe the floor you're on gets more difficult every time you research a module. Uh, it could mean that maybe there's a small amount of difficulty added every time you research a module that stacks up and persists throughout the entirety of the game. That might be... I, I don't know. The a thing about this game is that it is not super clear about its mechanics. So, we have here Lady Jalari Tulak, who is great at stuff. She's a really good fighter. And she has Scamper, naturally. That's fine. And Elise Ness. I don't think that I have shown Elise Ness on camera before. Elise Boom Boom Ness is a law person who walks the ragged edge between justice and vigilantism. Reasoning that the crime of breaking and entering should be a two-way street, she earned her nickname due to her fondness for storming criminal hideouts with heavy-duty weaponry. If we meet Rakia, they have a little story together that I saw the very beginning of, and uh, this is a pretty good fighting crew. Also, we got to start with some prison soap, because uh, it's, right, it's the sanitary pod, that makes sense. Uh, some people have had some bad times in here. I guess let's get going. I doubt we're going to die on the first room. 414 is even lower than um, the resource output is normally. And in fact, actually, I think we we might have lower starting stocks of resources, too. Because at 22 plus 4, like, I have to build an industry generator now in this room. I should probably turn the power on. And then we don't get to build another generator for, like, three rooms. Four rooms, actually. Wow. Okay. Maybe the pausing isn't going to be the biggest problem. Well, this is going to be rough. Oh, I should actually like look at her. What, is, what are her skills? She has got your back, so she has defense plus 10% when in a room with other people who have got your back. And also, plus 3 health regen and plus 7 defense in powered rooms, but her heal cost is higher. Uh, heal, wow. Heal is definitely, definitely more expensive. Well, we found a weapon straight away. That's pretty cool. Even with a weapon, Jalari does less damage than Elise does. I should actually equip this soap. So it's defense and HP max. Um, Elise is slow. And I'm pretty sure she gets operator. So Jalari is going to be our door kicker. So let's have her... Let's get her as tough as possible. Yeah, Elise being a powerful character that gets operator is pretty great. Uh, she will be useful. We have 12. <laughs> we have 12 science with plus one per door. We're not going to be able to research anything forever. We're definitely going to have to really get those uh, those resource creator upgrades like right away. All right, I mean, the monsters do seem tougher. Maybe not a huge amount. It's hard to tell, I guess. Those are some, those are some pretty basic enemies. So our next module also has to be industry, right? Okay, let's open up the door and then survey the situation here. Really good damage output from this team, though. So... At three industry per door, we have to open nine doors for this to be a positive impact on our resource generation. Am I going to open nine more doors this floor? Maybe? Possibly. Hard to say. Even if I'm not, it's probably still worth building something else. Here, let's get the science creator up. Let's see if we can get to that uh, get to that resource upgrade as quickly as possible, because that is going to be tremendously important. I'm I'm fairly sure that an industry generator build would have been negative industry. Let's try to keep track. Since one door already running out of dust here. 
Okay, a merchant. Two doors. Uh, ooh, a gun for Elise. Yeah, there's some good stuff here. We also have this prison uniform that I should probably equip. Uh, see, I was gonna say, we'll come back to this guy near the end of the floor and see if we can buy anything, but actually, he'll probably be dead, huh? I would really like to get this. We have seen in the past that it's possible to go a very long time without seeing weapons, and... Having both of our characters armed on floor one is a pretty huge increase in lethality. Man, she's got a real, a real Space marine -y flavor, doesn't she? Alright, so she can stand over here. So one, two, three doors. We've opened so far. I mean, I'm not... This is probably a bad thing to do. Probably what I should do is open another door, build another module, build like a food module, and then bank industry for this. It's going to mean that we're going to the next floor with very little industry, but both of our heroes will be armed. And it seems like the heroes are sufficient to take the monsters on the first couple of floors at least. It feels like... Obviously, I'm pretty nervous about that. Well, we should level some people up, so probably we should focus on leveling up Elise, actually, even though she's not our door kicker, because we want to get her to operate her as quickly as possible. She could be serving two purposes. Okay, the elevator. One, two, three, four doors. We need 46 uh, science to do that research, I believe. In there. Save him. Six, seven, eight. So it's actually looking pretty likely that we would have, uh, we would have been resource positive. If those aren't both dead ends, uh, building that module would have been very slightly positive. And if there are any more doors beyond the doors beyond this room, then maybe I'm just bad at math. Well, estimation. It's, it's a type of math. Oh, she doesn't have an armor slot, right? Never mind. Well, the good news is we get to sell that. And actually, in this situation, I think uh, industry is the thing I most want. I'm real happy this guy's an industry merchant right now. All right, so we get to buy Elise a gun. Bonds here. Actually, I should have run for this room. You protect him. You deal with this stuff. We are having um, a lot more trouble fighting the monsters than usual. They certainly are more difficult. I had a really hard time getting... There we go. Getting the inventory open. 71 DPS already. That feels pretty good. You'll notice that her wit is not super high. So, like, she's not great at operating, but... We need all the extra resources we can get here. Oh, hey, a restrainer. So it is a DPS loss, but it gives a little bit of HP regen, a lot of defense. Or we can, instead of reducing our DPS, just sell this. I think this is a good enough item that we should accept the DPS reduction and just go ahead and sell it. I'm going to do this right now, just in case. I don't think it's going to happen, but just in case something goes, goes awry here and we lose our merchant. Sorry, right. prison uniforms are crappy armor anyway. Okay, actually that, uh, if I had built an industry module there, it would have been very slightly industry negative. I just tried to pause. I don't know if you guys can hear me mashing the space bar. Yeah, she's actually getting, getting kind of roughed up here. 
So Jalari is pretty tough. Elise has good damage output, but is not nearly as uh, resistant to damage. It's weird, she has more defense. I guess Jalari has twice as much health as she does. I'm judging who's tough by the rate of the bar going down, but I guess that's not exactly the right way to do that. Okay, so let's power this room. Elise can stand here. And we're just going to have to deal with some monsters, unfortunately, on the crystal run. Also, uh, we just, on opening that last door, got enough science for our research. So, unfortunately, that is going to have to wait until next floor. Yeah, and we're going over to the next floor without a great amount of stuff. I probably don't want to level up right this second. I don't want to leave myself with three food uh, for the escape sequence here. All right, Elise. Keep that elevator safe. Jalari, it cannot possibly be that heavy. Just get moving. Maybe I should have taken off her armor? Wait, does her armor give minus speed? No, never mind. Wouldn't even have done anything. All right. First floor complete. I can see resources are going to be a real problem. Oh boy, I'm, yeah, I'm not feeling great about this. So it's going to be a little bit harder to make good use of science for resetting, because I don't really like the way the game does this thing, where it like jumps the camera around when you, uh, when you click the panel on people. And since there's no quick reset button, like the quick heal button, you have to do that to reset. And without the ability to pause, that means that during combat, my camera's going to jump around erratically whenever I try to do one. So maybe, uh, maybe not so much with the resetting this time. We gotta, we gotta develop a less active strategy, which means, I guess, uh, more immediate reliance on minor modules. The two of them together do some good damage. I'll say that. Alright, part of the value of immediately exploring the rooms around the elevator is that you're more likely to find uh, major modules, it seems like. Uh, so, somewhat dampened when you don't have the industry necessary to immediately build. We're definitely going to build another industry module here. Eh, just fall back. No reason to take them alone. Uh, now, as it stands, we do not have a repair person available, so we are going to have to watch out on that. Speed minus 30, plus 130 defense, and I believe next level is Operator. Oh, okay, dead end. A little awkward. This, I'll feel a lot more comfortable about this when we have the power to, uh, the dust to run a, a power out to this room. Alright, definitely building another industry generator, and I guess we'll build it... And we should build it here, because once Elise has Operator, I'm going to want her to be standing here. Alright, we need to find two dust, and we need to find it quickly. Come on, don't let him through. Alright. This sucks. Yeah, so, this sucks a lot. This is a really terrible thing. Our next module is at 30. It's in two doors. And that will still be true if we build two prisoner prods. So I'm going to try not to delay the next module, because we the, the next major, because we really need it. But we got to put some defenses up in this room. Please let there be some dust in here. Oh, thank God. Also, I tried to, <laughs> I tried to pause again. All right, so let's hit this button, depower this. Okay, this is what we're doing for right now. As soon as Elise has her next level up, we're probably going to want to just move her into this room to operate, let this room be dark, and just kill the stuff that comes out of it. But for right now, I think I'm better off uh, avoiding the spawns entirely.
or actually it's probably better to have this room lit and this room unlit. Our level up is at 52. Well, let's build a food module. That's going to be important. This is both an increase in lethality and an increase in uh, resource generation, this next level up. So it is a somewhat big deal. A fairly big deal. Oh, hey. Oh, man. I don't want to delay our level up, but we got to have three heroes, right? Like, yeah. And Hikensha's a pretty good hero. Another good fighter slash operator. It said uh, on the pod rules that uh, heroes were going to be rarer. So I, th I feel it is unwise to look this opportunity to hire in the mouth. Uh, we might want to have... I mean, we're not going to get to do a, any uh, research anymore so when we hit 35 industry we might want to bulldoze this depower one of these rooms back here and have Hikensha stand there and then um, power this and build a major module in it well we'll figure it out when we actually have the uh, the industry to do the build we're getting pretty lucky with dungeon layout so far I think it's been pretty uh, a pretty easy to control layout Red's Fixer. It unlocks Wikipedia. Witch plus 15 for repairing. Okay, well, that'll be, uh, honestly, not even very good. <laughs> yeah, once we have somebody with repair, it will kind of do something. Right now, it does actual nothing. Neither one of these situations is great. Okay, well, if something's going to spawn, let's have it spawn in this room instead of that room. on a ton of dust all right well everybody together I'm not gonna take us all the way back to this room because this guy does aoe damage and we don't have anybody who can repair right now so anybody uh, any <laughs> any module damage is permanent okay so we want to bulldoze this. Then we want to depower like this room, power up this room. <clears throat> we could put down another science creator, but honestly, I kind of feel. Let me think. At this point, it would be twelve doors to get a to get this to be a positive amount of industry. I don't think there are twelve doors left. We need food and we need science, and we need food more than we need science. I think right now, until we have until we have these two both able to operate. Although I don't know that we will even want to use them both to operate. Given that that will reduce our ability to block spawns that much. Let's try to pause again. Now once again we're going to fight in this room away from the modules for the moment because of the AoE enemy. It does feel good, I will admit, to be making decisions based on, like, I can look at the enemy types now and go, okay, here's a good reason why we should behave this way in the presence of this enemy. Which is good for me. It's a good, uh, good change of pace, a good feeling like I'm actually making decisions and I know what I'm doing. It is a good high damage team. Hikensha's a little a little soft relative to the others, but on the whole, a pretty dangerous squad. Let's see, we have enough power. I'm gonna run this. This is self-powered? No, okay, it's just something I was running power to for some reason. Alright, we have enough food to Yep, yeah, okay, we have enough food to get a uh operator going. Do I want her to be operating here or here? Probably I want her to be operating the industry module. Generating us some extra industry for the next floor. Maybe for this floor, actually. 
I think I like the idea of powering this room so that we don't have to worry about stuff coming from two directions. But I wish this room was powered so that we could build defense modules in it. That would, I would love it to be the case that there's a room with no major module that has defense stuff in it. All right, does she still have... Yeah, she does have Fred's Fixer, so it's improving her wit by a little bit. I'm going to try to get by for the moment without building any, uh, any miners. Let's see how long we can push that. Okay, the elevator, that's dangerous. Boy, it sure is far away from our initial elevator, too, isn't it? I guess these enemies, the red crystal guys, I don't think will stop and fight modules. So maybe we're safe to fall back to Elise here. I guess we'll find out. I think it's it's the guys with the sort of oblong crystal heads will stop and fight modules, but the uh, the ones who have sort of like the pulsos like light in the middle of them do not. Boy, crystal enemies move very slowly. <laughs> Could probably be attacking these while they're moving. Although I guess if I'm going to have somebody run ahead to attack monsters, it shouldn't be Jaleri, because she does reduce the chance of dust loot from things that she uh, she hits. Okay, we're actually going to go into the next floor with a reasonable amount of uh, industry, which is nice. Enough to do some quick building. Okay, there's the spawn notification. So yeah, let's watch this guy. Yeah, they don't stop to... Okay. They do area damage, but they will fight... They will not stop to fight modules by themselves. They go after heroes. Attack power up. Healing is expensive, and I'd love to not have to do it if you guys could just handle this. Yeah, alright. We're good. We're good. Nope. Uh, you... Okay, we do not have enough dust to make this a safer end of the elevator, unfortunately. We depower this room. We run power to these three. I guess I'm going to depower this one as well. And we can have Elise stand here, Hikensha stand here. Jaleri is going to take some damage on the run. Uh, she is still the fastest, right? Yeah. Okay, we need to, uh, we need to level her up too. It's unfortunate that she's been given kind of, like, last priority on level ups because we need Operator so badly. It looks like we're going to be okay here. The monsters on this level are really, really slow. I'm going to say that I am still sort of cautiously pessimistic. This is going to be very difficult. To some degree... Uh, our next hero is going to inform our chances to succeed, but I think we've got a pretty good team here. It's mostly I'm worried about uh, my own skill and also our resource generation. Alright, let's get a couple of modules up right away. Industry generator. You two go and open this door. And industry generator. Uh, can I... Am I allowed to bulldoze this? I'm not... Not interested in making an industry trade at this time. Alright. We're definitely going to get our money's worth out of those two. Self-powered room. Nice. I was just about to complain that uh, our dust situation means that we're going to be in a really hard uh, spot here regarding resources. I should probably go for food replicator because we do still need to level people up. So Kensha gets Operator next level, I think. I'm pretty sure that that next skill is Operator. 
Okay, enough dust to keep running power, at least. Okay, arm zombies are low health, but pretty good damage output. We're actually in some amount of hero danger, this floor. Let's see, you need one more door before you can level up. We'll probably open a couple, actually, to make sure we're safe on food, because it costs a lot of food to heal. Oh boy, all right, well. Y'all know how I feel about finding the elevator early. Part of me is overjoyed, but the rest of me thinks we may die. <laughs> Let's all just fall back to the defense room while we consider our options. So we still, yeah, we still don't have any monsters that are actually going to stop and fight our major modules. I assume that Elise will get repair eventually. Because maybe that's not safe. I was just thinking because she gets, um, because she gets operator so early. But I guess we know Hakensha gets Operator really early and never gets Repair, so... Alright, how are we going to run this from here? We've picked up another Major Module slot, which is great. I think we can probably go ahead and level you up. And then we'll build a Food Replicator here and have you stand in this room and we'll just... We'll just eat two Dark Rooms of Spawns. I think the resources are important at this point. Although, if we're going to do it this way... Ikensha is a considerably worse fighter than Elise is, so actually we probably swi switch these two, right? Yeah, let's do that. Take a little resource hit here for one room, but I think this is better for our survivability. And then we're going to give her a little bit of an assist. Our next generator would require... 10 more industry, but also 9 more dust, because we've got all the rooms lit that we can have lit. So I think we're safe delaying the next generator potential by a little bit. Let's see, it's at 40, so as things are right now. Well, Hikensha is going to boost our amount of resource generation. So we should probably expect... This is where I wish I knew the numbers off the top of my head, how much wit adds to your resource generation. Should probably expect in the neighborhood of like 13 or 14... So, if it is plus 13, building even one more prisoner prod delays us by a room. Three prods is probably, I'm going to hope, enough for now. we got to focus on upgrading Lady Jalari from now on so that she can add a little bit more to each fight. Let's light this room quickly before anything can spawn it. Okay. Everything's fine. We're all going to be fine. I was really hoping... We would open a door into a room that had a module slot. Okay, remarkably quiet. So if we get 10 more dust, we could redirect this power into this direction. Man, there's a lot of floor left. It sucks to be out of places to build major modules already. I guess if I got enough power to light another room, I could just light this way. So we're going to be, as we open doors here, potentially getting up to three rooms of spawn on this end. So I think I'm probably going to go ahead and finish building prods. Like, let's prod this whole room up. And in fact... This room too, maybe? Uh, that's maybe not a great idea. Because as soon as we get the pow the dust to power another room, those will be useless. Alright, let's continue exploring. Okay, nothing up there. I think these two should have this under control. some reason chose to attack the back crystal on the last one. All right, I'm going to depower this room, power this room. I can build a major module in here and also I just feel a little bit better about this. We see at least three doors or we see three doors. We see exactly three doors. And I'm I'm certain there's a bunch more. 
I don't know that there's enough that will get positive value of the, out of an industry generator, but like, we should start banking up science for the next time we find a research crystal. And also, we can start taking levels on Lady Jaleri. So yeah, now Lady Jaleri reduces the dust probability of monster dust drop probability of monsters that she kills, but she gets much better at fighting uh, as time goes on. And I think we can probably just put a couple more levels into her. But we can at least get her fast running skill. Do I want to build some prods? Now, we're still only going to get, at most, one room worth of spawns over here right now. I don't know that we need to spend a lot of effort preparing for that. Oh! Oh, the dust monsters! Okay, she's getting brutalized here. Damn it. Didn't get there in time. I do so hate having to spend food on healing. Alright, for right now we can just light one of these rooms. Okay, so we got those uh, those dust jellyfish things on this floor. How does that affect my strategy? We should try to take advantage of those, obviously, but I don't really... I don't really know how best to do that. So if it heals cost even more as you level up, apparently. Uh man. Yeah, we're going to burn a lot of our food healing. Monsters are just too tough. This um this floor's layout is way, way worse than the last one. It's gonna be really difficult to keep control here, like to the point that we might have to leave early. I hate to do that, because I feel like we're in a really good place, uh, resource generation wise, but it may be necessary. Okay, these are compelling. I'm pretty sure that I've never seen the monsters kill the Death Dealer, so we can probably wait on that stuff. But now we're going to start having spawns over here, potentially. Yeah, I don't really know that there's anything to do about it. Let's just push onward here. Alright, so we've got a dead end. Spawns happened in that room a long, long time after they happened everywhere else, which is annoying. Okay, get over here. Yeah, we're going to have to put up a couple of prods. Oh, okay. Okay, we managed to keep the dust damage to underneath room loss. Uh, boy, I have to lighten up the spawns over here, but the spawns over here are also going to be terrible. Well, I'm doing this. Maybe this is too much industry to spend, but also dust loss is a very serious problem. Hopefully a lot of stuff will die before it even gets into uh, Hikensha's room. And then I'm going to I'm gonna keep going for the moment. We can depower this room and power this room, and at least they're all coming from the same side now. Um, which means that they will all they will arrive staggered. This is just gonna be ugly. Alright, we have a we have a research crystal. I should at least look at this. Okay, that's huge. This is what we're saving science for. We're not buying anything from the Death Dealer. Uh, we can't sell things to the, to the death dealer, and we're uh, basically we're not getting this this floor, but we need that upgrade very very badly. Something to pursue on the next floor. All right. Still very much considering leaving early. Also thinking that maybe I need to build some prods in here because Jalari's going to be on her own on this side. Really nervous about spending too much industry. But it's way worse to lose dust. Let's just go for it. Okay, that's handy. You'll light this room quickly. Okay, good build. A good, useful build. 
So now we have two rooms of spawns in each direction. Hopefully we're prepared to deal with that. I'd like, we gotta push on as far as we can, right? We need the resources very badly. Uh, I was really hoping he was gonna be a science merchant. If we could sell some stuff to him and uh, get a little bit established. You are a sword character. No swords. There's some pretty good weapons or some pretty good items available here, but man, it's hard to hard to imagine being okay with spending that much industry on an item at this point. It really is a very large amount. No spawns? Okay, cool. Yeah, we're getting to the point where I, I maybe can't explore any further. I'm feeling real nervous about it. That upgrade to research was 65. So if there aren't very many doors left... Hmm. We could depower these rooms, power these rooms... And then, like, move one of our operators to this room. Probably Hikensha, because Elise will then have to stand against four rooms of spawns by herself. I don't know, man. I just would really like to get that industry module upgrade. I think it's very, very important. Let's continue on as we are for the moment. Room length room. Okay. Please let this be a really cool sword. It's a spear. Well, I should probably sell it, right? You don't need these extra spears, and actually, industry is a thing that's pretty useful. I'm not going to do a lot more building of major modules on this floor, because I... Hope and pray that we are very close to the end. In fact, let's go ahead and build what towers we can here. Okay, I was really hoping that um, that this was going to end up being the final door. Okay, so we got to play like sort of in this view. Oh, please don't do that. Okay, we can keep an eye on both rooms worth of happenings here. Okay, that was not that bad, really. I really wish we had found more dust. Uh... So if I start this research now, obviously I'm committing to it pretty hard. Oh, you know what? I think I was told that the doors opening as you, uh, as you leave the floor do count uh, for finishing your research timer. I'm always a little unclear on what they do and do not count for because obviously they don't give you the resources that normally generate when doors are opened. Go ahead and level you up. Probably twice even? I don't remember what her second skill is. Yeah, because we're going to have 22 dust. Ah, maybe that, actually, that was probably not a good level up. Okay, so final door here. All right, get running. I'm almost certainly going to use this as just defense plus 50. Actually, never mind. She doesn't need that. Yeah, you know, for a wave of this size, we actually got, like, very little danger here. Did anything die? No, there's nothing that would have died in any other place. Oh, here we go. Here's one one more dust. Exactly what we needed. Alright, so let's go start that research. Then we'll open our final door. And immediately finish the research. That feels pretty good. Okay, let's figure out how to get out of here. Uh, actually, we have enough dust that getting out of here is pretty easy. So we can unpower this, power both of these. Uh, I'll leave this lit. Let me think here. Like, power both of those, and then have Elise and Hikensha stand here. Yeah, alright, not bad. We don't have any extra items to sell to the merchant. Do I want to... 
We have a lot of industry right now. We could afford to buy something before heading down to the next floor. So do I want to do that? Uh, we could use that t-shirt. Photon decelerator I don't think is very good. Um, I just, I get, I, it's possible I undervalue scamper, but. And then va hand vacuum is, uh, pickpocket is a chance to increase dust from monsters that are killed by this character. I don't know off the top of my head what the chance is. Nobody has it, right? Yeah. Oh, we gotta level Hikensha up some more because she gets uh, she gets that thing that gives you free science every door, doesn't she? I just remembered. I think I'm not willing to spend 81 industry on this because I don't know what the dust increase chance is. I guess maybe that's foolish, though, because like we really, really need dust. If I bought this, we'd go down to the next floor with 49 dust, or 49 industry, which is enough to immediately build two level 3 industry modules. Man, maybe I should take it. And it's plus speed. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Maybe this is unwise, but I think that's worth doing. Okay, who wants this soap? You can have the soap. Okay, plus 12%. Actually, is she the one who wants it? Maybe it should be on one of the people who's going to be standing guard? Well, she can have it for now. We can always move it later during the floor. Or during the next floor, you know. Okay, let's get this nice easy run out of here. We did get a lot of dust over the course of that floor. Yep, we'll get no spawns at all. Nothing anywhere near the path. This is sort of a nice leisurely jog to the elevator. I mean, don't walk, jog, but, but leisurely, for a definition of leisurely. Oh, why does this elevator only have one button? Hey, that's actually a really good question. You know what? I never really thought about this. Why on earth is the endless facility constructed in such a way that each elevator only goes between two floors? Do they never think of, like, just a long vertical elevator shaft? That's odd. These people managed to invent technology that is advanced enough to appear as magic. But it didn't occur to them that you can, like, just, you can make an elevator go to all of the floors? Or at least multiple floors? Okay, this is beautiful. That's going to be a big, big help. Alright, which direction do we want to explore from here? I think the Toxic Cloud does in fact slow monsters, so maybe it's a good idea to go this way. Although the Toxic Cloud does also slow our hero attack speed. She's at 38 DPS, so she's actually doing less damage uh, than Hikensha is. I, I guess it's safer to explore this way. Hikensha's more likely to be able to murder whatever we uh, run into. Heal cost doubled for three rooms. Also, I don't get to build on my uh, build on my module slot, which is terrible. Well, I guess let's keep going this way. This will be available to build on eventually. Not even that long from now. Ooh. We should do this. Yeah, that was worth doing. Gonna slow down our builds a little bit, but that much dust is gonna make it, like, possible for us to get through the floor. And that's something we should not underestimate the value of. Okay, so... Next module... Probably... We need to get food and science going, obviously. And having both of them operate industry modules may not... We may be producing too much industry. Eh, you know what. Industry is the engine resource. A good thing to have. Let's get food going first because of how expensive healing is. How about that? And then next room we get to build a science creator, maybe. Maybe another food creator, I don't know. Self-powered room with a ton of dust in it. Huh. Been a strange floor so far. 
we're so safe here that I, the reason I'm building a science creator this time is that we we can never have more than the room I opened worth of spawns. So it feels like uh, hmm. I was gonna open this door. You know, I I love to get situations where you have monsters walking a really long way around, but I'm a little worried that if we open this door. Then, uh, if we get any of those big beetle monsters, they can try to knock this door down, and then stuff on this side will have a very short trip to the elevator. But I guess we're going to be able to power all the rooms we can see for a while, so any of those big beetle monsters are not actually going to be able to spawn anywhere near this door anyway. Alright, what's what manner of merchant are you? Oh, you're a guy who has a sword. That's good. Not an awesome sword. Hey, it would be 22 DPS, though. This is a small enough upgrade that I almost certainly will not buy it. Okay, so not a great merchant. We need one more door before we can build again. Well, we gotta take S and Tarash, right? Are we out of major? No, we have a major module slot here. Oh, and the, the Stila also broke down. Let's put this... We still have no idea what the monster pool for this floor looks like, which makes me a little nervous about building majors way out of the way, because I'm I'm not certain. Like, if a Silic spawns over here somewhere, walks to this room, manages to kill this, and then has to target... I'm not sure... I guess it doesn't... Has to kill this is the part of that I should be worried about. Yeah, we'll just build the major module over here. So we probably don't need another industry generator. I'm going to go food. I think I'm going to go food. And yeah, we're going to hire Asim Tarash. He's a, he's a good fit for the team, I think. Just generally a powerful guy. And this skill is, is really nice to have. Okay. Expensive level ups, though. So he gets pilfered naturally. He's the one who should have the, the hand vacuum. I just tried to pause to put it on him. Let's see if we can equip this quickly enough. Let me run you out of the room to let SM get the kill. With his hand vacuum. I guess I can probably light the room up. Doesn't really do anything, but I may as well. Okay, there we go. So we have the, we have the dust to light one more room. Oops. Clicking the wrong button here. Um... Also, I moved her, which sucks. Because that means that we are not going to get to build this next turn. It was just a... Moving her out of the room for a split second was just enough to ruin that. I pressed the wrong number key. Alright. Well, that's lovely. So next turn we'll have the resources to build again, and I... I think I still will. Yeah, we can we can still see five doors. Yeah, it's probably still worth it. I don't know that I'll build any more after this. There's gotta not be that much floor left. Yeah, food. Like I said, we want to focus on leveling him up for a little while. SM Trosh gets very, very good. He's a sword character as well. Yeah. Alright, we do need to find some sources of swords. Alright, we're going to run Jaleri out of the room right before anything dies. Unfortunately, SM is not focusing on the thing that was taking all the damage. I would love it if he would actually kill these things. Got one down. Two down. Yeah, then we can run Jaleri back in here to help with the DPS. And then out so we know she doesn't get the killing blow. Alright, all that work for no extra dust. What a shame. So Jaleri is probably now sitting. Oh, I should have... Should have popped this. I gotta remember to actually hit this ability all the time. Yeah, Jaleri is probably just sitting out now and... 
Let's hope that we don't need to build any miners. As it stands, though, everything that uh, every enemy that spawns on the, the rest of this floor will have to come through this room, so that's a really nice bottleneck. I don't think it's necessary to build anything right now. Ooh, that's a good upgrade. Expensive, but I love being able to jump research, uh, resource generation modules up like that. Uh, we can probably... Let me think. We saw those red crystal guys. We saw the witches. I think we can move Jaleri down to here. I don't think the, the enemy spawns that we've seen are going to stop and actually fight modules. We got a long walk ahead of them. Ah, I tried. Well. Yeah, these things are actually going to move to a place where a hero is. Do I want to just have both of us wait in this room? Probably. And I will remember to hit Dust Drainer as soon as it looks like something's about to die. On, show me dust. These things are dying so slowly. All right, we got two. At this point, am I willing to do one of these? Uh, an industry food tra industry to food trade would be okay right now. If a hero comes out of it, I'm going to be kind of bummed out. Or nothing. Nothing's also bad. Actually, I think it spawned a poison cloud. It's, it, the toxic cloud is not in our event list, so I think we opened a door that, or we opened the thing that had a toxic cloud inside of it, which is weird. I didn't realize that that was a thing that could happen. All right, so we have no spawns coming from over here. The elevator is still ahead somewhere. We're finding it at the very end of the floor, which is a really nice thing when you're um, when you're actually if you actually want to clear a room or clear a floor, you really do want to find the elevator last. Actually, I guess let's just run back to here. You know what? I'm going to... I should have done this earlier. As always, I'm trying to be stingy. I do wish we could focus DPS a little bit more. It seems like everybody picks the monster they want to fight. We need to power this room. Or I guess, like, power this room. It doesn't really matter, probably. Well, this elevator's out here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Like that. It's right there. We're doing incredibly well on dust here. This has been a very fortunate floor. So we needed to get to 100 science. To get this upgrade. I don't think that's happening this floor. I'm just going to keep accumulating as we are accumulating. Attack power plus 10 if an artifact is active in floor. Uh, I believe... I think Eseb gets the free science skill too. I'm not... Uh, I don't remember. Maybe he doesn't. But I think I, I'm valuing him getting Pilfer over uh, over that free research skill. Maybe that's not a smart thing to do. So everybody fall back to here. Dust is just so important, you know? As soon as it looks like anything might die, we're popping the skill. I guess it doesn't really matter anymore. But also, it'll refresh for free at the beginning of the next floor, so there's no reason not to. Alright, a dust factory that, uh, that coughs up a ton of dust right at the beginning of the floor, followed by... A lot of rooms that have dust in them and also self-powered rooms. Shirt sure does make a floor easy. I think we'll just, like, let's just run power all the way out here. The monsters that come from this room are not going to get over in time to uh, threaten us at all. Alright, so we get one more, one more little burst of resources here. Dust. 
Do I want to buy us a sword? It is a DPS game. The bigger DPS game on Hikensha than it is on Eseb, but also Hikensha is the one who is going to be doing the least total fighting. Yeah, sword is better than no sword. And do I want to buy this very fancy t-shirt? No, that would leave me with only 20 industry going into the next floor. I don't feel comfortable with that. Okay, so actually everybody can just walk over here. Yeah, nice easy escape. Alright, things aren't going too badly. I think we got really lucky with the... Um, the double industry upgrade early. Got a little bit unlucky with this toxic cloud. Although I don't think the monsters are ever going to get anywhere near us. We got a lot of really slow moving monsters with this uh, this pool. Okay, we're kind of doing it. Cautiously, I say we are doing it. Let's do one more floor. And let's hope things re continue being really easy for a while. Even if things do eventually get difficult, uh, a nice easy beginning gives us some time to build up so that we are much stronger when the difficult stuff happens. No major module does suck. Okay, heroes on floor not noticed by monsters. That's... Um, that's crappy in a couple of ways. Obviously, the fact that, uh, the fact that we don't get to use this major module slot right away is just stealing resources from us. Well, yeah, we have to, right? Okay, got the bad result there. I think it was worth the gamble. All right, so how do we want to do this? We can probably have a Kensha over here for now. I don't think I want to build two industry modules. It seems like on, it seemed like from the last the last floor, two early industry modules is enough. So we'll build one more industry module, but I'm not sure where I want to build it. I'm thinking eventually we'll want Hikensha to be over here. Why don't we build the industry module on this side? Make this a science creator? We do need science. We also need food. I think we need more food than we need science. So we will build a science creator, but maybe the next one. Although I guess we're low enough on dust. It's the button. There right, we go. Yeah, we're low enough on dust that we're not actually going to get to build another module for a while. I I suppose we should depower this room, power this room, have Jaleri stand back. We can build our science creator here. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, SM Tarash gets Pilfer at like level 9 or something. Oh, I should probably equip this guard uniform be out here fighting stuff by yourself sometimes. Ah. Alright, well. Not great. We can probably just fall back here. We really need to either find an item that gives repair, or have a hero learn repair on level up. Okay, we got enough dust to power some stuff up. We do not have another major slot to build in yet. Okay, so we want to actually depower this, power this even though it's going to be safe, because we need to build. And just food, right? I need to find a research crystal. Uh, in a hurry. 
Your next level up is 79. We could do that right now, but honestly, there's not a lot of incentive to. Let's wait until we have maybe closer to what looks like two levels worth of food. Okay, these guys are both hero hitters, so we can pull them back to the module room safely. Also, apparently pretty hard hitters. And at least does some damage, huh? Alright, there's no reason for me to be... Yeah, there's no reason for me to be waiting. This is going to dead end pretty soon. There's no south uh, door on any of these rooms. Alright, so how do we want to manage our power here? It's probably not right to have it set up the way it's set up now. I think what we probably want to do is... Um, Depower. Oh, there's only one powered room over here. Because we can't we can't really unpower this. It has a module in it. I was thinking um, depowering stuff over here, powering stuff here means that all the monsters that spawn have to walk through a little bit more of a gauntlet. But since that's not really feasible, and we have a lot of industry to spare because we've run out of major modules, I guess we just build prisoner prods. Really wish this room hadn't lost its module slots now. That was some bad luck, man. Alright, Kensha doesn't really need to be on this anymore. Let's pull her to this side. Or Hold on. Actually, maybe she should be here? No, no, we should have the person who does the most damage here. Because there's going to be a non-trivial number of monsters. I guess we're taking some module damage. Alright, our damage output is actually really good. Uh, okay, so the blue-headed crystal guys... You guys can just step in here and deal with this. The blue-headed crystal guys will stop to fight minor modules. And stopping to fight the minor module means he's dealing damage to the major module, even though he's not focused on it. That said, I think we do rebuild these. I mean, maybe the smart thing to do would be depower this, power this. I know we're splitting up the monsters here, but that means that we could build... Build a bunch of minor modules in here, so blue blue crystal guys that spawn here will stop in this room. It'll give us time to separate the enemies. Let's see how this works out. Could really use, I don't know, 25 or so more dust, though. That dust factory would have been really, really great for us. Okay, well, I tried to use it to stop spawns from happening. Oh, wait, we actually want to power us over here. Okay, yeah. We're under control. Everything's fine. Sorry about the silence. I just... I had to be sure. So, yeah, the food, uh, the food module is starting to take a serious beating down here. I guess we don't need to power this just yet. Now that we have rooms powered over here, we can build uh, pods in, in here instead, and that'll stop the enemies from attacking the food module. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Although, we have so much industry left. Maybe I do want to re-depower this one so that I can power this one to build a, to build a module here. I probably do. Alright, these 
These will just lay dormant for a little while. It'll be all right. Go ahead and build another food replicator. We're gonna be we're gonna be okay on science or uh, on industry rather. I'm gonna fill Hikensha's room with prods. This is already a place where people are stopping and fighting. So okay. Oh, I should have should have gone that way. opening extra rooms for no reason. Alright, looks like all the spawns are on this side. Are these? Yep, they are in fact going to survive all of the, uh, Prisoner prods, that's a shame. Well, we're gonna fight him, let's fight him in here. I was running forward to try to kill them before Dust Drainer ran out, but we were not gonna get that done. So maybe I should just build one prisoner prod in here? I'm just thinking, like, it's not enough to actually kill the crystal guys. But it does slow them down and separate them from the pack, so we get to fight half the wave at once and then half the wave later. Maybe that's a good enough purpose for them? I don't know. Let's see, we're about to get some food here. So if I level up now, we'll have 23 food for the next... That's probably enough. Oh, I forgot about this. This is sort of like having repair. I'm getting very nervous about this amount of spawning, though. Is it time to consider just leaving? Well, why don't we, uh, why don't we push our luck a little bit more? Do I want to rebuild these modules? It's expensive. They didn't really get that much accomplished. And separating out the AoE monsters is valuable. Let's rebuild a couple of them. Just enough to, uh... Enough to cause the Crystal Heads to be pulled out of the main pack of monsters. I think I'm gonna do the same thing over here. think this is what I want to light? Yeah, probably. Reduce the uh, the spawn weight on this side a little bit. Oh, that sucks. We got EMP'd. Where did we get EMP'd? That room got hit. But the other... Okay, that's actually not that bad. We can just move Elise to... Hmm. A little awkward, actually. We can move her to here, but then she no longer catches the enemies that spawn in this room. Yeah, that's a shame. She has to go to one of the sides of the bottleneck if we want her to keep operating. And I, I think I do want her to keep operating, though. I'm going to move her to here. I think we, we really need the industry. So we could depower the science room. Empower this for now and just cut those spawns off entirely. Do I want to build prods in here as well? I'm a little nervous about wasting industry. But if we're going to get two rooms where the spawns... They are separated at least. Yeah, let's... Let's go ahead and... I'm, I'm far more concerned with uh, with safety in rooms where our heroes have to stand. Also, I should probably just hit this button on cooldown, right? There's no particular reason to wait if it has... If we have damaged stuff. It's actually quite a bit of healing. Uh, 
Uh, no spawns. Okay, cool. So we're actually almost done with the floor. We did not ever find a research crystal, which is a real shame. And I'm debating just leaving. I hate this. You know? Like, if we get a bad, if we get a bad group of monsters in here, they're able to just run through to the crystal. I guess if that happens, we can take off for the elevator. It's not so bad. We can block spawns in this room Im immediately. Yeah, all right. We have a we have an escape plan. Although, it is worth noting that I can't pause for optimal escape plan implementation. Actually, I probably want to be over here. I think at least probably has this side under control on her own. No, nope, can't run. Oh no. She took so much damage so quickly. Uh, plus defense. Yeah, that was crazy. Like, I just... I extremely panicked there, and... Now we're paying the price for it. Oh, being down a hero is really bad. Is being down a hero so bad that I have to leave the floor? It actually, like... It doesn't change things that much. Since she was an operator... She already wasn't blocking spawns. She's not that, like, I hate to, I hate to immediately disparage her memory, but she's not that good of a fighter, and, like, honestly, losing her probably doesn't change our capabilities very much. Also, this worked exactly the way I wanted it to. Got the nice pack separation. What I needed to do was just hit the heal button on the Kensha, but man, trying to do stuff under pressure. Leave notification up. And we don't have any combat skills left, so I'm just going to have to heal people. Alright, I think we're okay. Yeah, my, uh... My immediate instinct being to have Akensha move out of the room instead of healing her was was bad. I spend a lot of time talking about how to make the correct decisions and stuff uh, in this game. And, it, you know, in content on this channel in general. But man, there's a reason I don't play a lot of action games, and that's because my fast action decision making is not spectacular. <laughs> Alright, here's what I think we're going to do. I'm going to... Depower these rooms. So we're going to move Elise to the elevator. I guess I really, I can keep, uh, we'll, re we'll power this one. I'm going to start this research and then we're just going to run for the elevator. So I think this will work. I think starting this and then pulling the cube will mean the rest of the doors open and I think it will finish our research. I believe that's what I was told. So you go wait in the elevator, and let's go. Yeah, okay. It, do, it does still finish the research. It doesn't give you the resources for opening them, but it does still treat them as though they're opening for other purposes. Yeah, not bad. We got our, we got our resource generation in a pretty good space pretty early. Uh, I think we're still on food one that needs to be fixed, but on the whole, that part's pretty good. The part where I let Hikensha die for functionally no reason, uh, because I got, when, when things are moving quickly, I got the stupid brain. That part's less good. But this run is not unsalvageable. I think, actually, it's going better than I thought it was going to. So, that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you are all as excited by the prospect of maybe making it as far as floor 7 as I am. Come back next time to see if that is indeed where this all falls apart. And we'll see you then.